So when we got on top of the scaffold, it was this little bitty beam, barely, holding the scaffold together. And I'm like, Vic, on three. He said, Jack, I can't do it. Now, this is a conversation we having doing a pay-per-view. On live TV, I said, Vic, let's go for all three. He said, Jack, I can't do it. It's too high. I said, okay, one, two, three, and I pulled him. And when I pulled him, he did this flip, this little dumb flip, and his back ended up against my head, and it drove my head into the floor. And that's that's when I cracked my skull. But yes, yeah, that was uh, Danbury, Connecticut. It was it was March. It was March sixteenth, nineteen ninety nine. Yeah, that was one sick punk, man. One sick punk. You know, and uh, but then I don't know, bro. You know, it's, it's, it's like I said, people people they just expected me to do that every week. You know, and. Back then, it was fine. You know what I'm saying? Back then, I was like, I'll do it. And then you get 10, 15 years later, and you're walking like you got a pole stuck up your butt, and you be wondering why. Well, that's why. You know, it's like watching that movie, uh, uh, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker, when the dude said, you want to take the, the, uh, the stairs or the elevator. Well, see, if I would have had a choice, I would have took the escalator or the elevator. You know what I mean? But no, I went out the window. <laughs> and, hit, and hit the ground doing 100 miles an hour. Flat. And what did I get for that? DZW. DZW. <laughs> Jack, we actually have a couple cars on the line. Go ahead. Shoot. All right. Car from the 228. You're on with New Jack. Hey, Jack. What's going on today, bro? No, man, what's happening? Oh, it's going, man. Uh, I just wanted to tell you, I, you know, got all them crazy bumps and shit you used to take. I know uh, that and a quarter got you a cup of coffee at your nearest coffee shop, but uh, I, I appreciate it, man. I still get on YouTube to this day and look at some of that crazy shit you do, and these cats now, they just, they can't pull it off, man. Well, bro, you know what? I appreciate it, you know what I'm saying? And, I mean, you know, like I said, you know what I mean? I, I, I said it before, I mean, you know, I was doing my thing, you know, because that's what I was getting paid to do. You know what I'm saying? And it's like, you know, people like yourself, I appreciate you, you know, giving me that. Because, I mean, like I said, I mean, you know, that, that's, what we, that's what we did. We performed. You know what I'm saying? And I tried to give everything I could when it was my turn to go on stage. That's what I did. And thank you. That's right, man. That's right. I, I just wanted you to know, man, I, I appreciate it. I'm a long-time fan of yours, man, and I'd, I'd love to see you on TV again, cutting a sick promo on Devon and loaded ass. Well, I, I would love it. I would love uh, to murder him in a fucking interview. <laughs> well, you know what? Like, like I said, look, you never know. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I'm not too old, you know, where I can't do it. It's just, you know, I... I, I I backed out of the game by choice, not by force. You know what I'm saying? So it's like right. if I still want to, if if I want to get back in it, I can get back in it. If I want to do my thing, I'll do my thing. And as far as that goes, again with Devon and with Bubble, dude, I don't care what or where we are. You put the four of us in a ring anywhere. And I would challenge anybody or any, for any company to try to outdo what we would do in a ring. On a business level, oh, yeah. I would I would challenge anybody to let us go out there and do what we did back then to this day. I would challenge any company, any company. You get anybody to try to go against the four, not not to go against the four of us, but to try to outdo what we would do to each other on a money tip. Oh, I shit. bet you I win that bet. <laughs> I bet you I win that bet. You oh, know what I mean? Hell yeah. See, because I mean, like I said, you know, business is business, and I mean, you know, I'm gonna keep it real with you. You know what I'm saying? Anybody that's done seen us dance before, bro, they know what we are capable of doing, and I can still do it. And I'm sure, I mean, and I know, and I know Mustafa can still do it, you know. And if 
ever, if there's ever a time or opportunity for it to happen, oh, you best believe you'll be reliving some old stuff and be coming back to your head because, bro, we will put it down. You can bet that. Yeah, we they're not going to pull that shit in TNA. TNA, doesn't, they don't want you to hurt them guys like that, man. Well, well like, like I said, like I said, you know, if, 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 if the opportunity comes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's why I said them, because it would be like they know what to expect from me and Mustafa, just like we would know what to expect from them. If I got in the ring with Gary Wolf, Gary would know what to expect from me, just like I would know what to expect from him. You know what I'm saying? And this is stuff Jack, that... Jack, Jack, Jack's got the fork and I got the super bomb. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh. You know? Hey, and man, I, mean, I remember the time you had that halo on and Shane went in the ring and shook the shit out of it and those fans got crazy, man. <laughs> man, I remember. Just jumped the rail. God, oh, the rail. Hey, hey, wait. What was that? What was that boy's name? What was that boy's name? Um, that jumped over the rail that time. Yeah. Oh God! Yeah, old when you were somehow out there, huh? It was old man in, I think. Yeah. Yeah. The white hair. Oh God! I know what I meant. I, I, I called you. This is what I meant to ask you. Listen, what was this girl's name? All right. You got to help me with this. It's been like a trivia question, like, all week. What was this girl's name? She used to work at ECW, and she went to WCW for a minute, and she was Sandman's, like, valet. What was her name? She was Sandman's valet, but she, wait, wait, wait. She became famous. She became famous by this, this uh, uh, videotape started circulating the locker room, and all of a sudden, she got hired. It was a videotape that she had done, her and some girl and some dude, and she got hired with WCW for like a real quick minute. And she used to come out to the ring with Sandman. She was a little short blonde. What was her name? I Gary? I remember I, I, I'm trying to remember. I know she had uh, blonde hair. And she used to wear a fuck. She even did the flannel gimmick with Raven, right? Right, right, right. And I wonder, I, I keep wanting to say Daphne or Destiny or something, but I can't. What was that girl's name? Destiny? Maybe? And I know somebody out there know. I know somebody. Knows. Real quick, we, we actually have another car on the line. Call from the one right, one you It's been real, man. Keep it up, bro, all right? All right, bro. All right, man. Hold right, on. Right, right. Take it easy, man. All right. Later, brother. All right, call us from the 111. You're on the air. All right. Oh, well, Gary, up. go ahead. Did you hang up? Yeah, go ahead, Gary. Uh, so what have you been doing lately, Jack, besides working out and getting in shape? And uh, you think you're going to uh, get back in the ring and do some damage? Because I... Uh, I'm telling you, the Dudleys, the Gangsters, the Pitbulls, uh, the Eliminators, I mean, ECW tag teams are far in between from the tag teams that are in their business today. That's what I think. Right. Right. So, well, to answer the first part, I mean, you know, I, I had to... I had to lose a lot. I, I had to lose some weight, man. You know what I mean? I mean, I, I had gotten, like, really disgustingly fat. I mean, it was to a point, bro, it was like, it was, it was embarrassing, you know. I mean, you know, I got that tattoo on my stomach that said you. Dude, these were like, the letters, like, they like, it was like about four inches long. That's how fat I got. I was wearing like a 48 pant, a 6X shirt, you know what I mean? Dude, I wouldn't even wear shorts. This, this is like the first summer I've been wearing tank tops and white beaters in 10 years. So I had to get, you know, I had to get the weight off me. I had to. It, it, it was either that or die. So, you know, I'm just preparing myself, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it, it feels better not to be, you know, 
stacked like that, you know what I'm saying? And I'm just, you know, preparing myself, you know what I mean, and, and just trying to work out, trying to eat right, trying not to, you know, do stuff that I was doing back in the day. Well, I ain't going to say trying because I'm not doing it, but, I mean, you know, just keep my body right and just trying to get my head back right. That's all. That's all I need to do. Well, I'm very proud of you because, uh, I mean, uh, you lost a lot of weight and uh, you, you sound very, very, very dedicated. You know, well, like I said, bro, I mean, you know, it's either, you know, it's either you either make a change, you know, to make yourself better or you just don't care, you know what I mean? And you just, you know, life will go by you so quick and then you look back and you 50, 60 years old and you still saying, I don't care, I didn't care. Well, you just, I didn't care your whole life away, you know what I'm saying? So it has to come and, to a point and, where, where, where you can you, 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 you can say I don't care, but I guarantee you he does care. Yeah, no, 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 no. I'm not saying, I'm not saying me now is just at one point, there was a, at, 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 at one point there was a time where I didn't care. I ain't care about nothing. I was like, I don't give a flying fuck. I ain't care about nothing or nobody. You know what I'm saying? And, I mean, this is like on some personal stuff, you know what I mean? And it was like, bro, I was my worst. It's it like I had demons on my, all like around me, and I was, and the demon was me. You know what I'm saying? I was my worst enemy because all the damage that was being done, I was doing it to myself. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I would purposely just run people away from me. You know what I mean? I would just, I would make you mad just to make you just get the hell away from me. You know what I mean? And you couldn't have done nothing but just made it say something. Or, or just looked at me wrong. I'd be like, what you look at? That? You know what I mean? And then it's like, you know, you I wake up one day and you say, well, yeah. You know, and then you wake up one day and you say, let me call somebody. And then you look at your phone and be like, damn, ain't nobody to call. But don't nobody want to talk to me. You know? And I mean, you know, like I, I wanted to ask talking. you. I wanted to ask you, when we were in Cleveland, I was outside. I did not, I did not, I did not sleep with Rick Rude. Say, say mm-hmm. again. No. <laughs> I remember uh, you pulled up in a red pickup truck, and you must have stood about 10, 15 feet, and you locked them up. You got out of the truck, opened up the bed, and pulled out a chainsaw, brother. Uh huh. What was that about? No, I, I had um. Yeah, you know, to be honest, I don't even know. Like, like I said, like I said, just stuff like that. I don't even know because I, I had it was a um, I think it was it was an L one fifty something like that, and I had this big old chainsaw in the in the back. For, some, for what reason I have no idea. Well, and I, I jumped out. Some, I, I remember that. I remember that. I jumped out of the truck and I caught it up and ran inside. And everybody that was on that side of the building went to the other side of the building. And I started laughing. I was and, I was following you because I was following you, and then and then I realized where you were going. You were going to the Dudley's dressing room. 